Hi guys, it's Wei here. I am back from Italy. It has been a really great trip. I met up with my best friend who I haven't seen in years. And we spent a lot of time together because we just had so much catching up to do. And I walked around the Florence Center, the city center, and I visited a few other places as well. So today I'm going to show you my both my watercolor journal and my travel journal. So first of all, uh, let me just show you quickly my um, travel kit. So it's this bag right here. Um, I know it's not really, it's not something fancy. But um, I really like it because it's practical and it has a lot of storage place. So let me um, <laughs> just open it. I hope that the quality of this video is okay because I, I just have so many problems with my camera and my, my tripod. So I'm currently filming this video with, my, with the camera um, in my computer, <laughs> the built-in camera. So in it, I have my uh, traveler's notebook, my full diary, where I keep my travel journal. And I have my handmade watercolor journal. Oh, and I, I have another watercolor journal inside. It's a, it's a watercolor journal that I bought in Florence in this um, stationery shop called I think it's called Fabriano Boutique. <clears throat> so I I was very happy to have found this shop because I like to do um, a lot of stationery shopping wherever I go. And I saw this this watercolor journal. I'm not really sure what kind of paper is it. It's not really written, but you know what I love about it is that you can sort of lay flat, and it's. Um, it's similar to the Meliskini uh, um, watercolor journal without the elastic. So I thought I would per perhaps try this one after I finish my current journal. And I have my travel watercolor travel box with me. This is a Van Gogh box. I'm not sure if you can see it. No, um, it, it's a Van Gogh box, but I replaced. I replaced all the paints, all the pans inside with um, Sennelier paint because I just, you know, I sort of prefer the Sennelier uh, watercolor. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the Van Gogh paint, but I just, <clears throat> I think that um, the Sennelier watercolor has a better choice of palette, choice of colors, if that makes sense. And I, there, some more items that I bought in Florence. I found this little souvenir slash stationery shop and I bought these. It's kind of like um, a notepad and envelope set. It's also like a mini letter uh, pad. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. It's really, it's really not picking up, but it's actually yellow with a little flower here. And this is an envelope set uh, with some cards, I guess, with the same floral pattern. It's really pretty. If it's not picking up, I'm just going to put um, a photo right here. <laughs> and let's see, I have bought some washi tape, washi tapes um, in the same uh, stationery shop. I really love it, the, the extra white one and the thin one because I I haven't seen it here in France or maybe I, I was just not looking but you know I like the thin ones and I got oh I got a it's called a parallel pen parallel pen it's it can I have some cartridge as well and I'm going to show you oops <laughs> I'm going to show you the the tip of the pen you can see that it's flat I'm not sure if you can see it it's flat so you can have I think you can use it to write um, calligraphy I've already tried it but I'm not really mastering it yet so I'm going to show you later on in this video 
and then I have my eraser and then some <clears throat> watercolor tape and of course the kitchen like a paper towel kitchen wipe <clears throat> and I also bought a very small pen in the same uh, boutique because it's nice and slim so, so I thought it would be like easier to carry around and that's it but and there's another compartment right here for for your brushes and your pens you see I bought a lot of brushes with me but I never did get to use them because all the paintings that I did um, there are like fairly small so I never had to use them but I have my pencil and my brushes and the micron the micron pen as well so that's my travel bag and now I'm going to switch the camera so I can show you my my watercolor journal and my travel journal okay let's start with the traveler's notebook first I don't know if I sound a bit funny right now because in between these two videos I actually went to the dentist and I had um, two of my wisdom teeth pulled out so I can still feel the um, the, the anesthesia right now. Okay so this is um, the first day I wrote down my train schedule because I went um, from Valence, I took the train in Valence to Lyon, Lyon and then to Chambéry and then we passed, um, we pulled over in Modane, which is the Italian border, and all the way to Torino. So I arrived in Italy in um, at noon, you know, at 11. And I made this little pocket to keep all my ticket stubs. I, I actually had to cut them so that they can fit in because the original tickets are pretty big. I painted some the um, lunch box because I really hate the tra the sandwiches they sell on the train. So I the night before, I made my own lunch box, you know, a little salad and salad and some roasted chicken and I also um, put together a little fruit, a little fruit box because I bought some strawberries and it was going to go bad. So yeah, I had a great lunch on the train, and um, I did this small sketch in when we pulled over at in Modan because we stayed there for about five minutes or so. So that was um, enough time for me to do a sketch like that. And this one is probably <laughs> I wrote. Because I wasn't sure the exact location, so I just wrote somewhere near the Italian border. And then I got to Torino, Porta Susa. Um, I stayed two hours there. And this is the, well, actually the first day in Florence, but you know, the second day of my journal. Um, I took the bus to go to uh, Station Santa Maria Novella which is the central train station and here's another pocket where I keep some um, bus tickets and this little map that the uh, the people in the hotel gave me to show me uh, where I could take the bus and I I walked around the the downtown area and I found this I took this little um, like a name card uh, from this cafe called Cafe Amorini where I had um, a cup of coffee and then some pastry so I, and I went to lunch in a little restaurant near the the basilica and I even <laughs> I even drew some my walking route you know I walked from the train station all the way to the fa the famous bridge Vecchio and I have another card. So um, I don't even know what it is. Like it's written in Italian, but you know, there's art, 
And then there's ele electricity civil, so I'm not sure. I don't even remember where I got it, but I, I like the design. It's very simple. And a little something from my hotel, which is the EB's Hotel. And the second day, or the third day, I had the buffet in my hotel, which is not... Um, originally included in my in my room but you know I really have to eat like a really nice and healthy breakfast to give me the energy to walk around for for the rest of the day and some some journaling and then I bought a pair of shoes and then I had some coffee I think this is the day where I'm I went shopping with my with my friend and we found this really cute um, like a Pinocchio uh, museum, but it's also a shop that sells all kinds of wood product So we went inside and I took this from the shop. I like it. They have um, you know, they have a, a little map on the back and um, Let's see and then I went and I found the uh, the boutique that I was talking about earlier um, Fabriano boutique where I got some pants and some um, and a watercolor journal and I took the this little tag from the washi tapes that I got and I put it in here because I, I really lo love the, um, the colors in there. And the next day I went to Parco del Cacine. <laughs> I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. There are probably several entrances to the to the park, but this is the the one that I that I took. And um and just some journaling and I had this I bought some paper items from a shop on Etsy and it has this little Italian map so I thought it would be nice to use it as a background and I kept some receipt of the things I bought in there because I like to keep track of that uh, somehow I just you know at the end of my trip I, lo I looked into my wallet and somehow the the money seemed to disappear much faster than I expected. And and then we went uh, shopping some more um, in the evening. And I bought a suitcase, a Samsonite suitcase, which is uh, something that I've always wanted to buy. And then we went to a Japanese, um, a Japanese restaurant called Mr. Sushi. Um, I I thought the food was going to be terrible because I don't really expect to get real authentic Japanese food from a restaurant called Mr. Sushi or you know if you see a restaurant called Mr. Uh, Peking Duck or Mr. Pizza I didn't I didn't ha um, have much faith in it in the beginning but um, the food turned out to be actually quite good and then this is probably the next day and here I tried my parallel pen which is this one. Uh, and the, well, this camera is not focusing either. So I'm, I'm going to have to change my camera. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So this is where I wrote down just some uh, random Italian <laughs> words. Some Italian words that I know. Um, just to try out the, the calligraphy pen. But I, I don't think I'm doing it justice. I think if you're using it right um, the result is going to be much more beautiful I don't know if I can there is a paper that comes with the box maybe I can show you they're, they're really beautiful you know you can actually write things like that so yeah this is my goal <laughs> I'm gonna have to maybe practice a little bit and then I got um, something like a flyer i don't know maybe from the hotel and um so the 18th i went you know sometimes i when i don't want to write i just sort of you know draw or paint things that um the things that happen or the things that that i saw on that day so yeah <laughs> i don't know sometimes it just i it just feels much easier and i also wrote some some of my thoughts in Chinese. I like to mix all the languages in... Um, I'm sorry, I just have to cover this a little bit because there's some private info. 
yeah, so I like to write in several languages because I currently speak three, so I like to see all of them in my in my journal. Um, I have this. I remember I my first uh, junk journal that I kept when I was in college. Uh, that was the time when I started to learn Japanese, and I almost the, the entire journal was written in Japanese. I was just trying to practice all the words that I learn, and I have all of these manga characters in it. I don't know if it can, if I can find it, I I will probably make a video to show you guys that. It's really cute. It's silly and cute. And that was the day I left Florence here at Selva, Florence. And um so yeah, I took the taxi and then the train and then I stopped at Torino. And, you know, whenever um, the train pulled over for more than two minutes, I would do a little sketch like that uh, to remind me of the things that I see along the way. And on the last page, um, I wrote my impression of Florence because I stayed in the train um, for more than two hours from from Florence to Torino so I had all my time to do these sort of stuff and um, I wrote gorgeous buildings and landscapes and next to each um, how do you say it? <laughs> and each impression I would draw something next to it and tourists from all over the world, because when you're walking on the street, you don't hear Italian. You hear all these languages from all over the world. And that was really, that was really nice, really interesting. Because I live in a small town in the south of France, so we don't really have a lot of foreigners in my town. Um, so it's, you know, it's really nice to, to be in a, in a big international city once in a while. And the third one is all male employees in cafes, shops, restaurants, etc. are incredibly cute. And this is so true. I mean, at least for me, I don't know, maybe they, th they think that by hiring cute guys, they will get more female customers. <laughs> it's perhaps that. And dog lovers, everywhere I went, I see, I saw dogs and people walking dogs and um, you see them in restaurants and cafes, which because I'm a big dog lover, so I really like the fact that people are more tolerant with dogs. Um, I don't know if it's true all over Italy or it's in Florence. So yeah, because in France there are a lot of places that you, pe well, they don't really say that it's. Um, forbidden to go in with your dogs, but people don't really like that sometimes. And then I wrote friendly people, because all of the people that I met there are so friendly. Um, actually, all the it Italian people I, I know are so friendly, and I really love that. Um, because uh, I have been living in France for a little bit more than four years, and sometimes um, people can be, I mean, French people can be a little cold. I mean, no, it's not everybody. I've met some incredibly nice people here, but um, that was like a general impression. And the last one is loudspeakers. I mean, this is not something bad uh, for me. This does not bother me at all um, because I'm Chinese. So, you know, Chinese people are always very loud. Uh, this might be something that that bothers like, people like my husband because he's French and he doesn't like to to eat when people around him talk very loudly but yeah that's not something that bother that bothers me at all here I wrote in France in French restaurants people are always talking like this they try to keep their voices down but um, in, ta in Italian restaurants they're just you know it's all over the place <laughs> but um, I think it's funny. I don't know. I, I sometimes I kind of like it uh, when people talk very passionately, and um, you know they always they just seem so happy. I don't know. <laughs> and oh no, this is my last page. Um, so this really crazy thing happened when I was in uh, Torino. 
Torino train station um, because I was supposed to catch the train uh, to go to France that day and I waited two hours in the train station but they had a problem with the with the, with the information board so the train actually arrived and um, but you know there was no number of platform on on the info board so I, I think a lot of people if not um, everybody missed that train so <laughs> I you know I saw this people all around me they were like oh what what the f what the hell and so I started talking to some of the people around me trying to see if there's something we can do like and then um, a bunch of us went to the ticket office I mean like strangers the people who were supposed to be on that train so we went to the train uh, the ticket office and then we talked to them and there were um, there was a French girl and an Italian guy who who spoke English French and Italian so they were doing a lot of translation for us what well, they solved the problem because they, they told us we have to we had to stay in in Torino for one night and then catch another train like the next morning so I got to meet all these um, strangers but then then we start we ended up talking and we we had a really really good time that night it's actually pretty funny how I thought it was going to be like a really bad day but it started out you know kind of bad but then um, turned out to be a very very uh, wonderful night because I met all these new new people I met all these new friends I guess that was the perks of going on a trip because you never know what kind of um, people you will meet so yeah I so I just wrote about that <laughs> all of that and I kept all these tickets and the receipt from the hotel because they told us that we had to keep it just in case we're still um, we were told that we, we would be reimbursed for the hotel but you know nothing happened so far so I would just keep it and here I wrote no pas perdre do not lose these yeah um, so that's my complete journal uh, yeah this booklet this booklet is finished so I I would probably give it a really quick fl flip through from the first page to the last my watercolor journal which I took with me um, basically everywhere I went so I did all these small sketches on uh, either on trains or in cafes or in restaurants or even in hotels and um, for example this is um, this is the the French countryside but I'm not really happy with this one I, I don't know why I kind of uh, messed it up. It just looks so very, I don't know, amateurish. So yeah, I just, <laughs> I didn't want to continue anymore. And then you will probably um, notice that I I did the rest of the sketches in pen and wash. This is because this paper here is really not good. <laughs> from my point of view this is a this is the um, the Daler Rowney paper I think it's 300 GSM so I actually I made a huge mistake um, making my tra my watercolor journal with this paper even if I have never tried it before so yeah um, if you're thinking about buying this paper or I don't know if it's the brand or 
this particular paper. Um, if you're thinking of buying it, my suggestion is don't. <laughs> you know, it's not. It's not. It's just not worth it. I mean, it's not very expensive, but I, you can get more um, with this price if you buy like uh, the Canson or whatever. So yeah, okay. So this sketch is from the. Um, I did it in La Gare de Chambéry. Uh, I think I think it's from a photo because the train only stopped and for perhaps 30 seconds so I didn't have enough time to finish it but luckily I took a photo of that and I arrived in in Florence and I did this sketch in a cafe in front of the cathedral and this one is from um, the view from the bridge it's called Ponte Vecchio and I even drew a little some um, a little um, drawing to show where I was like I'm I was here literally on the bridge and I was looking you know to, at that direction so it um, I think it was nice to to paint in cafes but sometimes when I don't have a choice I would just literally just stop and um, you know do the painting standing up or, or I don't know sitting on 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 my bag or something and this is the but oh <laughs> I wrote it in Italian because uh, I guess I saw it somewhere San Giovanni and this one is from this one is actually the street where uh, my friend and I found the the Fabriano boutique the stationery shop and then we had a shake there so I kind of drew it and these sketches are from the Caccine Park um, I was there for almost a whole day or an, a whole afternoon so I took a little sandwich with me and I had all the time and I sat down on the benches and there was a river, I think it was called Arno River. So we had some, I had some really beautiful view. So I did these. And this one is the Basilica of Santa Cro Croce or Croce. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was also in a cafe. Um, just really, probably, I don't know, 50 meters from, from it. And I was, I was painting and this really nice waiter came by and then he said oh it's so beautiful what you what you did and yeah so I was really happy <laughs> uh, that was when I you know on my way back I stopped in uh, the station of Chambéry again and because I waited there on the on the platform for like an hour so I had the time to do two sketches it's just the train and some, you know, I didn't even finish it. I, I don't know. Sometimes I don't have a picture in my mind, like a good composition in my mind, but I would just sort of paint whatever, whatever I see, whatever comes to, to my, to my eyes. And this is the last sketch. It's, I wrote memory of the mountain villages, the French Alps, because this sketch is done uh, completely from memory. I was in the train and you know we we went past all the villages and they were really beautiful but I just didn't have the time to to do a sketch like rent right then and there. Okay so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and that I didn't ramble too much because I think it's going to be really long. So yeah, um, as usual, thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.